welcome to the session we shall discuss about accidents safety and first aid accidents safety and first aid for science class 3 for cbse science for class 3 accidents safety and first aid what do we see in this picture do not come out of your home alone you should be always under adult supervision do not run on the stairs you may trip and fall down do not fight with each other this is not good habit do not play with fire you may get burnt do not climb the fences you may fall down fasten your seat belt because on a moving car you should not fall down cross the road at zebra crossing if you cross anywhere else the vehicles may not wait for you do not play on the road road is for walking and for vehicles never go with any stranger because you don't know what they will do so what are these things these are things that tells you what are good habits and what are bad habits to be safe so these are called safety rules if you don't follow the safety rules if you are not careful if you are careless maybe there are accidents and if there is an accident maybe you will get hurt or injured we will see that in detail when you get injured what you do first is called first aid accident every day we hear or read or watch news about accidents we come across accidents every day accident is an unpleasant event that happens suddenly causing an injury accident is an unpleasant event that happens suddenly and it causes injury accident causes injury accident is unpleasant and the accident happens suddenly what is it it is unforeseen unknown unexpected uninvited event accident is an unforeseen unknown unexpected uninvited event such mishappening what we call as mishap m i s h a p such mishappening can happen any time and anywhere so such accidents that is unpleasant event that causes injury can happen any time anywhere how can we avoid it we may not be able to avoid it but we can avoid to a certain extent if we are careful if we are careless we may get involved in accidents if you are careful we can reduce the injury how do we how do we ensure we are careful by following the safety rules we can prevent accidents so if we follow the safety rules either at home or at school or on the road we can prevent a lots of accidents red cross is an organization that helps the injured people and blue cross is an organization that helps the injured animals red cross helps injured people blue cross helps injured animals if you follow safety rules you may be able to prevent accidents if you are careless we may get hurt or get injured unforeseen unknown unexpected events are the mishappenings that can happen any time or anywhere accident is an unpleasant event that happens suddenly causing injury what are the safety rules for home we should never play with a blade or knife we should not touch the electric wires we should never put sharp objects in your ear or mouth we should not play near the fire we should keep a first aid box at home this is a good habit we should keep a safe distance when you are watching tv that is a good habit we should take care when you are playing with fireworks and we should never play with a matchstick these are some of the safety rules for home in detail people might trip over things on the floor so we should keep our things at their proper place wet floors cause a slippage so do not keep the flowers wet you should wipe the flowers electric appliances might give electric shock so don't touch any electric appliances with wet hands fire stove or hot vessels cause burns so do not touch or play with hot objects or fire scissors knives and blades might cut so do not play with sharp or pointed objects don't put it in your ears don't touch the knife do not run while climbing up and down the stairs you may trip and fall down do not talk to strangers and do not accept anything from strangers when you are outside do not accept anything from the strangers and do not go with strangers these are safety rules for home so people may trip over things and fall on the floor so we should keep the things in their proper place we should not touch electric appliances with wet hands we should not keep the floors wet we should not play with fire or touch any hot object we should not play with sharp or pointed objects and we should not be running up or down the stairs so let us look at the safety rules for the road some of them are do not play on the road because vehicles will come roads are meant for people and pavements are meant for roads are meant for vehicles pavements are meant for people never board or lean out or alight a moving bus when the vehicle is moving don't try to get in or get out cross the road only at zebra crossing because zebra crossing is meant for pedestrians and the vehicles will stop near the zebra crossing walk on the footpath only footpath and pavement are meant for people while roads are meant for vehicles 
let us see more in detail roads are meant for vehicles walk on pavement or footpath only use zebra crossing follow the traffic lights and road signs do not run play or jaywalk on the roads concentrate on the vehicles coming ahead of you and in front of you do not put your hands or heads outside the windows of a running bus do not put hands or heads outside the windows of a running bus or a car do not get in or get out of a moving vehicle these are the rules for the road what are the safety rules for the school school is a place to study in classroom and play in the playground in school you have a classroom where you study and playground where you play do not play in the classroom so that you don't get injured from the desks or the benches over there carelessness will lead to injury carelessness will lead to injury do not push each other while on the stairs do not push each other while on the stairs do not stamp up or jump up and down the desks do not stand or jump up and down the desks you may get hurt because of the wooden or steel desks use the equipment carefully and with supervision whatever school equipments are there in the lab in the library in the playground use it with adult supervision do not lean over the railings you may trip and fall down do not lean over the railings get in and out of bus in a line get in and out of bus by standing in a line queue up don't rush or don't jump out of running bus do not push each other or fight or be rash do not push each other or fight be kind and nice to each other in school be kind and nice to each other and do not fight or be rash what are the safety rules for the playground always use a float while swimming don't take anything from strangers never lean out of a terrace wall you may trip and fall down while playing in the kite never use kites on the road use it only in the playground make use of the bridge while crossing the railway line use the bridge don't cross the lines these are the rules for the playgrounds <clears throat> do not fly kites on the road or terrace be in the open playground for games follow the rules of the game wait for your turn be careful on hurdles stand away from swings and not on the way wait for your turn be friendly and polite to each other while you are in the playground do not play fights on the road or terrace be in an open playground for the games follow the rules of the game wait for your turn be careful on hurdles stand away from the swings and not on the way of the swings wait for your turn be friendly and polite to each other be friendly and polite to each other while on playground so be kind and nice while in school be friendly and polite on the playground so that you can be safe do not fight with other children what is first aid when you get hurt what you do first is a first aid what are the 22 first aid, vital first aid kits so you have a band aid or you have an aspirin medicine or an instant cold pack or a sterile gauze or you have a small scissors and a small plucker to take out the needles you have some tablets you have provision these are some of the items of the first aid kit you will find a first aid kit at home or at office or in school first aid is the first assistance given to a person first aid is the first assistance given to a person who got injured immediately after he or she got hurt when a person gets hurt the first help given to a person is called first aid immediately after a person gets injured the first assistance given is called first aid first aid is given before professional medical help like doctor or ambulance arrives first aid is usually given before professional medical help like doctor or ambulance arrives first aid is the first assistance given to a person who got injured immediately after he or she got hurt inform the teacher at school or elders at home or playground if someone gets hurt if someone gets hurt at school or playground inform the elders or the teacher immediately when someone gets hurt when there is an injury please inform the elders help the injured by not crowding around at the roadside and allowing fresh air if something happens on the road do not crowd around and block the air allow fresh air you help them by allowing fresh air and not crowding around wash the wound cut with water and apply antiseptic cream or band aid if there is a wound wash it with water if it is a small wound wash it with the water and apply antiseptic cream if somebody falls down and there is a on a stone or a rock then if only little blood has come out wash it with clean water and apply antiseptic cream or band aid which is available in the first aid kit tie a clean hand kerchief or a cloth over the wound if it is bleeding if the wound is bleeding then tie a clean handkerchief or a cloth over the wound in case of burn apply burn all etc on the affected area in case of burn apply burn all on the affected area if it is a small burn if it is a big burn better to take to hospital immediately seek professional assistance first aid is good but you should always seek professional assistance thanks for watching this video if you like please subscribe for new session